up everyone, Dwayne Pedals here in the beautiful sunshine state of Miami, Florida. We're here with the new affordable 2023 model of the Ibis Exe. Psyched that Ibis was able to send this my way to test ride a review, so let's get into it. here with the Ibis Exit and this bike just wants to rip it. I just did a quick run just to get like acclimated to the bike and test it out and this thing just wants to shred. The geometry and tack are identical to the US based model only this one has a more affordable price tag starting at 5,000 US dollars. With that you're gonna get Fox Float 34 Performance Series Shock with 100 millimeters of travel paired with Fox Float 34 Performance Series Step Cast Front Suspension with 120 millimeters of travel, all rolling on Ibis's 933 29 inch aluminum wheels. The Exit comes in three build kit options, SRAM NXGX Blend, Shimano Dure, or SLX, which is what I'm riding. Okay, so let's talk about the XZ. For the record, there are two different versions of this bike and the main difference is the price tag. For someone who's an entry level rider who doesn't wanna break the bank, then the model that I'm testing that's made overseas is a great option. Out the box and on the trails, I noticed how responsive and nimble the bike was when it came to riding at speed into berms and also corners on the trail and also how stable it was when it came to riding over big rocks and roots on the trail as well. The bike is just super comfortable to ride. And the XZ is a true XC bike that feels extremely lively when you're riding it on the trail. And what's cool about it is that it has a lot of different use cases. For instance, if you're a competitive cyclist who wants to go on the next C race, you can do that with this bike and shred it. If you're someone like me who like just enjoys adventure rides or just fun times on the trail, I mean, I can totally see myself strapping up some bike packing bags to this bike and going for a long extended bike packing trip with some friends or even just a long weekend. So in terms of its size, I went with a large and to be honest, I felt a bit cramped on the bike. I'm 6'1", so if you're a rider who's over six feet tall, I highly recommend going a size up to an extra large. You will feel a lot more comfortable. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions about the Exe. Be sure to check out ibiscycles.com for the Exe and other mountain bikes in their lineup. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more on and off-road bike adventures, including product reviews. Peace out.